do when we put this out is they, John McMillan said, we need like your timeline so when we give you estimates. You want me to go down? I'm thinking, I don't know how we give you a timeline. And I, because I said to Tom, I'm telling you right now, you're not, this is not a good time for a project. Mm -hmm. No, but there's nothing, and the other thing is if we. And you know what, $150,000 is like a drop in the bucket. Right. Well, we can take that and just get other things done. Can no, we, we can't. What, it was you know more than about is. The I haven't gotten any details yet on it. So, we got a grant for 150. We got a grant from 30, but I don't know what the we scope. Got a grant is. for 150 thousand dollars for the design, design work on the police station. Design okay. work on the uh, fire department. Design okay. work specifically. Yes. Yes. Oh, it does say design. Yes. Only. And it's not a grant. It's in. The, it's a line item in the budget. And nobody told us we had to write a letter that says we need, we want, thanks for putting it in the budget, can we have it? So we're six months into the process and, and we haven't started. We're seven months seven into Seven months into the process. We haven't started anything. And it has, it has to be 30th, spent. it has to be done. But I called the woman at A&F and there's some form that the senator, I mean, Repo Day would need to submit in order to have the funds remain and carry over. He, I told him the name of the form, and he had no idea what I was talking about. And so he was. He came to Anita's retirement party. He goes, "Did you get any money yet?" I said, "No, I didn't get any money yet." When you're a rep for but what did twelve you? years, and you don't do anything for your town, it's the first time you do it. This is what happens. I like the guy, but what has he done? That's all right. Okay. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. recorded. That's fine by me. Welcome to the February 13th um, uh, building committee meeting. First uh, roll call. All members are present with the exception of Mr. Hadley. Approve. Uh, next is approved minutes. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah, Phil. Yeah, Phil. That's unusual. Yeah. Uh, first is approve meeting minutes for January 9th. So Second. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, next is approve meeting minutes for January 16th. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Um, well, Chris, I wasn't at that one, so I can't vote. Yes, you can. Not you on the minutes? You don't have to abstain. So either way, we can, if, if you abstain, we'll put it on. I'd rather abstain. I so we'll put it on for the we'll put the 16th minutes on for the next because we won't have a quorum to vote. Oh, is that okay. all right? Well, you, you only have no, a quorum to open. You don't have. No, to but have all she's doing is abstaining. Okay, so so she's part of the vote. Yeah, so your vote carries. Okay. That's all set then. Okay, the next is a senior center update, which we're going to zip through. The project manager can't be here. The architect can't be here. Status on fundraising. Status on pump house. So basically, no update for the senior center. Well, for, on the fundraising effort, the, the, the action from the last meeting was they were going to send to you, I guess, a copy of a letter they were using for the solicitation and figure out if it was legal. They sent that to Nancy? Did you get that letter? Yes, they did. And that's been researched? Yes. And we're, we're, we're working on it? Yes. We're, the letters will not be going out. I thought they already had. They did go out. No other letters will go out. Can we get a copy of it? I can sure get you copies. Sure. Do you email or whatever you want to do. So I don't think there's, besides that issue, I don't think there's much information on fundraising. Um, status on the pump house, I can only tell you from the meeting we had the other day, the pump house is there. It's, it's all, it's running, correct, Chief? The pump house that we know it's not running but everything's there happened, but the floor has been been put in everything so they can't turn on any of the building systems yet still no i think um it's the sprinkler so everything else is on the heat and everything's running inside the building i believe heat and water yeah they're waiting on a few alarms and then they got to decide um who's going to monitor the building right um because they won't turn on the sprinkler without it monitored. So I talked to Lisa today and I said, you know, we'll talk to Nancy and we'll come up with, because Nancy and I have had this discussion before that the town needs to get everybody on the same page to see if we can get a better rate. 
We just talked about it. Because we have three, four different companies right now that monitor each facility. So we have has one, water department has one, we use one. That speaks to the facilities yeah. manager. And that's what we've, we've talked this, we had and a meeting again, tonight. Just somebody, you know, coordinating everybody so when your service comes up. on Gary's list. <laughs> so, so but anyway, I told Lisa I'd help and work with her and, you know, it's just a phone call and then they come up and put it so in we'll the get, We'll get all that. The pump, it's, it's there if you have I that. think they came to an agreement about the architectural yeah, there was some issue about covering some metal outside, but again, I'd rather um, Tony here to talk about the details. So uh, we'll put that off. We'll put all of that, all of that on for the next meeting. So um, change order number five. I can't. I don't know exactly. Is that in here? Change order. It is. I have copies of everything in here. Do we have any explanation? I thought Tony was going to issue a report. I saw that in email, but I never saw a report come forward. If he sent it out, I didn't get it. Yeah. I can tell you that the subcommittee approved all of these things, but um, I mean, it looks like a bunch of onesies and twosies. The biggest thing says pump house fire alarm, mo alarm modules. And that was, you know, that's that that already? we discussed the, there was an electrical, an electrical change because there were a whole bunch of different, extra, there's more wiring. They called for six uh, alarms within the system. There were like 20 within the pump house or something along those lines. So we already approved the wiring. Um, I, most of the other things on here, except for that pump house one, I can kind of give any some detail on, but I know you're right. I don't. I don't know that one. Has Tony signed these on? Yeah, we. Yes. Well, I'm looking for the change order. That total. That's, is yeah, that that's, what's that must be all, all of this 12, stuff. Twelve thousand four eighty four. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So I, th I think, for instance, the carbon monoxide detector. I, I have a feeling they've. That's that's even going to be less. So that's these are up to these numbers, um, but I think they after after our subcommittee meeting. Does does is this something that needs to be? Did we wait on this. Do, you, do do we know if this will affect the timeline of the project? Do we have to approve this now, or can we wait? I don't have any information on that, but um, I believe maybe I, I think that's why was that that's one of the main reasons why we wanted this meeting tonight. I'm just concerned on doing no work. So maybe we we maybe what we do is we vote it pending confirmation from Tony that. Um, well, you said he's already signed it off, so we need something more specific. Do you have specific questions? I think the only one really that um, the carbon monoxide, like I say, mm -hmm. uh, that price could be less, but these are all up to. Um, I know the sign they needed. They needed a sign, and I almost died when the price was 176. But it's one sign that they needed, and that's how much they cost to match everything else. Can, um, what's the sign for, Chris? Outside or inside? Inside. I, I oh can't. God, oh, I'll tell nice. you exactly what the sign is. It's the one that says "must fold." Those the <laughs> sliders in that in the um, the main room must fold must slide them to one side, not to the other side. That's what that sign is. And we said the same thing, but they said that's the price of the sign to, to match everything else. Sink changes for fourteen over fourteen hundred dollars. Do is that like in the kitchen or something? That's a to me that fourteen hundred is a lot for a sink change. Yeah, I do know. Meetings. That was never mentioned before. No, no these are these are all the, like I say. I can't. That would that was brought up too. At the other, at the subcommittee meeting, and we approved. And one sink we need to buy for four grand. For how much? So it says it says the uh, two change orders: six thousand for the fire alarm system, and one sink for a total of ten k. So the sink apparently is four k. So he got it down to fourteen hundred. 
that's good. So if maybe we could um, vote on it tonight in case it's needed, and then if there's issues. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to hold I, up. The I was surprised so. Tony wasn't going to be here tonight. I learned that. I, I don't want to hold up the project, but I don't want to just say, all right, yeah, it's twelve grand here, have it. I'd like to kind of know. Although, right. okay. but <coughs> I, I did see the email saying Tony and Phil last the beginning of the week or sometime that they weren't going to make it. I saw that. But I, I thought that we were supposed to get a report from right. Tony. So it's up to the board. I mean, I don't want, like, I agree, Pat, not to hold anything up, but at the same time, I want to know where so and why. If, if we could delete $2,500 out of this and approve the balance, then the subcommittee could authorize moving forward. No, I think it's per, per thing, so I think the subcommittee may. It's, it's not total. It's one for 300, one for 176. The subcommittee can do. If it was one project for over 10,000, they couldn't vote on it. So I think um, everything here was uh, ag agreed by the subcommittee. So do I do I hear a motion to, to and then we can ask for an update before? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm formulating one if you give me a second. I'll make a motion to approve the change order, but hold off on performing any of the changes that will not affect the timeline for completion of the building until our next meeting. And if that meeting needs to be before our selectmen's meeting next Wednesday, we can do that. I'll second it. We have a motion to second any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, police station, I would get a pass on that. Um, so approve invoices. No, we, can, we can go to the police station. Because remember Roger. last time there was a question of whether the police station was finished? Yeah. They're finished. There was one little place that needed to be painted, and I emailed Dennis, and Dennis told me there was one place that needed to be painted, and that afternoon somebody came in and painted it. So they were all done. So done. We're never going to have another update. This committee is never talking about the police station again. Until the elevator breaks down. Oh, that's, I would take, I would, That's yeah. not ours. I would suggest that we take that off the agenda now. Yeah. Any other issues will come in front of the board. So that, uh, it's not this committee any longer, I heard. Okay. Nancy, is that what this email was? That yes. Said I'm all set? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, approval of invoices, CNB Associates, invoice number 5939 for 8032 So Second. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? RAC Builders uh, number number 10, 384,047. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, calling your international 23436, $14,991.67. Do I hear a motion? Is this the same amount we're approving for them every month? Yeah, but this is, this has got an add-on because there's two additional services: hazmat soils, soil hazmat soil mitigation, and soils uh, T and M quantification were uh, added an add-on. So they contracted that out, paid for it, and <coughs> they're passing the billing gun. That would be my assumption. And these, do we know how this ties into pending lawsuit, et cetera? That was going to be that was going to be my my ask for the end of the meeting was I want an update on where we stand on that for the next. Which which what are we talking about? The the um, the lawsuit. We don't have a lawsuit going on, but any Not issue with the the earth that's in front of the board of selectmen now. That's outside of the okay. end of the board. The, then we so need that will be that will be updated. I can put that on the agenda. I, I get you an update. Yeah. I corresponded back and forth. Because I think we agreed to take that. Okay. There's really no need to keep it here. Um, unless All right. we find out that this money will come back to the committee. But Okay, so um, I have a motion and a second, I believe, for Collier. Any other discussion? Who's the second? I'll second it. 
No, you made the motion. I'll oh, second. I made the motion. Sorry, I was thinking Ray made <laughs> She the really meant it. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. Man. Ray, anything, any other questions on that? Now, Pat, did we, I don't remember, did we approve those two yeah, I, changes? I think we did way back. Do we know, what, this This has to date back three months or four months, doesn't it? I, yeah, I think we had the discussion. I don't know if yeah, we, we did talk about so, um, knew the dollars that were going to be involved. I don't believe Had, had so. we authorized it? Well, I, I know we, we expected no it, but is Did there is there a vote authorizing those expenses? I didn't think not, we had a chance. I, I, I think we talked about it a lot. I, I, I'm guessing we did, but I can't exactly remember. So this, this is another fact that I think I, maybe we should uh, just uh, do the primary invoice at 92.16.67 to get some feedback at the next meeting on the balance. And I don't have an issue with that. I'm I look for my second. Okay, so Chris, I'll make the motion for 9,216 I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Uh, in favor? Aye. 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 Next is Eversource for $284.08. Is it incremental power? Why well, would we be paying they, for the power if we don't own the building? Yeah. Yeah, they, That's what I asked. Uh -uh. And, um, Lisa said she was told to give it to FISP. No, I had passed. Okay, let's I, just I, pass I, it over to the next meeting. This. Yeah, because I, I know we they, we they handle everything yeah, until we take bill. the building yeah, out. I would expect that it would have been folded into the construction bid. <clears throat> yeah. Plus, I remember that even coming up as a question about the lights being on all night and the electricity at one of our meetings. So, nope. Let's see if this. Uh, you need to tell these people to make small. Yeah, right ga gas bills. supply. Gas supply. Yeah, I mean, I think gas supply service. These might be things to get the gas to the building, not a monthly bill. But I have no problem putting it off. You know what I'm saying? This isn't. We're not paying for gas because, to tell you the truth, we probably no. It's saying 271 um, is the the meter read. Oh, so it's, well, gas gas supply service. Yeah, 271. Yeah, but then the previous oh, zero. Yeah. Yeah, 172 dollars and 34 cents for the gas, and and 111 for the delivery of the gas. That's this is for on them. this is for gas usage. It's delivery. Well. Yeah, that's fine. We can put it off. You're right there. It says cost to deliver. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! So Dell Marketing three thousand nine hundred and sixty-six twelve. What do we know what this? Is? That was the computer that she needed in um, our our computer vendor. Um, put the order in, and it's now been delivered. So it's now time to pay. This is four computer systems. Four monitors and four whatever an Optiplex service center. So these, I think, have already been approved. They're probably already. It's four computers. Yeah, that we, yeah, I think the kitchen has one. The her office has one. Isn't that what this was? We talked about the last meeting. Yeah. But do I hear a motion? I don't think we talked about it. Yeah, I believe well, we, we talked, talked about. about we, we, talked we talked about, about, about adding products? computers for access. No, this yeah, Prices. this is probably just paying the bill of the computers we agreed to buy. Because we talked about laptop versus desktop. Yeah. And so this this wasn't the prior discussion. It's something else. Yeah. We. Yeah. That's fine. So. Do I, did I hear a motion? I don't know what, uh, do we know what, uh, there's four monitors, I know what that is. I don't know what an Optiplex 3060 small form factor VTX is. It's a, it's a tower. It's yeah, a, it's that's the, the computer, computer itself. itself. So is this a, so this is a, these are. Office computers basically. But for, so these are stationary computers, not. Yeah. And there's no peripherals that go with this, or is it probably just included in the whole? Yeah. What, what kind of peripherals are you thinking of? Printers? Keyboard, keyboard uh, mouse? No, that, that would include the keyboard. That would all come in the 867 price, I'm sure. It's easy enough to look it up, just in case. If I have more signal. Were you getting in? Uh, no, I'm just using Wi-Fi. I was going to say I have it. I think I have it set up. I 
I, th I think if we had to, oh, we do have, no, this probably wouldn't do it. No, that's for the, that's so yeah. different. I think if we had Tony's, this would be already budgeted for and everything. Uh -uh. All we're doing is paying the bill. All right, so they loaded them up. The, the base price for these things is 549 So that's got everything. So. Everything under the sun. Her office, the kitchen. <laughs> right. There's I think four. the one when you check in, maybe there might be one there at the front desk. And I'm not sure with the fourth, but I, I can recall talking about it. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Have, have, do we know if they've been installed? Have they been delivered? I don't, I didn't see, I mean, I think they've been delivered, but as of last uh, Thursday, they, no computers were on tables yet. This <coughs> they're still doing work there, so I'm sure it's one of the final things when furniture goes in and things mm. like that. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Motion to second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Um, the next is fire station retrofit discussion. Um, I know that the chief's here. I I thought we were putting this off for a future meeting. I talked to John about it. Maybe he never reached out to you. But I think this is something we should have the, the full board to start talking about the next project. I don't think. I thought we just had this on the. Okay, maybe I misunderstood. Well, is, this is, is there a need for a discussion about the. About the yeah. That's what. And how that. I thought it was going to be an update on what to do with that. What was your impression? We're not going to decide right here tonight on what to do with the 150000 well, Is that I what you said? We can only do plans. Yeah, so I don't. I. I, I if we have 150k, why would we not just say, okay, Mr. Architect, we're going to rehab the building. That's the decision. Design it. Well, I think, that, well, well, maybe the, not. one of the main reasons is that it's going to be designed to a code as of today. Right. We don't know when we're going to build this building. That code is most likely not going to be granted, code. but. If we have the money available, we can get a, a design out of it. If, if we don't use the money, we get nothing. If, if we do go forward with a, a finite scope, then we have some tangible lease note we're talking about for money. Um, presumably at the end of this phase, we can put it out to bid, and we'll hear if it's $1 million or $10 million or whatever in between. Well, I, I think there's other things that that 150 besides just that, but... Just telling an architect to give us a plan on a fire station, we don't, he has no scope. Well, I mean. We would do it like we would any other building. They'd go through they needs analysis. Always started, they always started here, the size first. I mean, he, you know, this guy could design, we need a third floor. We need a, we need an addition. We need a, he needs to have some, what are we looking to do? Just to, just to renovate it to make it work for the current Take this current building and make it work for a fire station. Right. But I think this committee would have to sit and discuss that first. Has there been any discussion with the well, department or? This committee's never even voted that the next project is the fire station. Right. I'm, I'm talking more on the grant money. Because couldn't, couldn't we use that for, let's say we did something like what um, Ray is saying, couldn't that save us money in the future being a grant and couldn't that just be updated let's say it's i don't know 10 years from now five years from now couldn't that those designs just be updated at that point in Not time if he doesn't save design. Us money? yes but here's the but it's still taxpayers money we're talking about rushing to spend this money when we're not ready to spend it and it's still it, while it's not coming out of directly from the taxpayers of west boylston this is still money that was raised for taxes, and for us to be irresponsible and say nobody told us we had to ask for it because nobody's ever, this is the first time we've ever had any money given to us, and say let's rush to spend this just because we have the money. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't being think irresponsible. Yeah, I don't think taxpayer we're, dollars. Uh, it stinks. I don't think we're going to do that, and um, yeah, the one fifty is given back to the state of Massachusetts. The, the taxpayers of Massachusetts will never notice the I, extra eighth of still, one penny. But it's still real money. Right. But I think there are some plans to do something, but I think the committee today can't, that's not really the discussion. The discussion is what we want to do with the fire station. 
Nancy, you tell me if I'm. I, all I know is I have this money, and we need to know because now we only have five months to go forward. Do you want? To, are we going to send this out and get prices to come up with this plan? Well, well the chief, chief, you, there's other things we can do with that money, correct? That we've looked into. We can do a certain amount of studies in the ground. We could do a certain amount of studies in the building itself. They're going to look at our future needs um, for the next 30 years, and they're going to put this into a into a document that we can look at. Um, we can do some hazmat analysis to do a hazmat analysis of the building. They'll do uh, core samplings of the ceiling material. They'll do window samples, they'll find anything else that maybe could be a problem. Our fear is we go digging too deep and we come across any problems, we have a due diligence to take care of these problems. That if they're there. Now some of them we've, we've found that they were there. We did an abatement of the material that was loose and separated, but what else is in these walls that haven't been opened in 50 years? We haven't been there. But if we find it, that means there's a problem for, for the, the firefighters, and we, we need should be, you know, debating. No, they're going to, I, I mean, I, they're going to tell us that this building has asbestos in it, but we've, many buildings we all go in every day have asbestos in it, and we've taken all the loose areas, we had a company come in, plastic things off, fixed everything. They're going to, sure, they're going to tell us that if you're going to renovate this building, be prepared. You got to take all this stuff down. But then I don't, you know. So, so to, in our defense, though, we didn't get. I did not get anything. I don't believe the town ever got any piece of paper to say, "Hi, you've officially got this grant." It didn't say no. you got a grant and this is what you do with it. It doesn't give us a guideline. Nancy has reached out to the woman that's in charge and asked. What's, what's our guideline? How much can we use this grant for? Can we use this money for abatement if we run into a problem? We're still waiting on an answer from that woman. We've also asked, can we extend this money? Can we get a further extension from you know, July 1st? Can we extend it? Because we feel like we're under the gun here. We gotta do it. I gotta send out three bids to architects First, we've got to come across some. I've been reaching out to area towns. You know, who did you use for an architect? Did you like them? You know, we talked to the senior center architect. He was one nice enough to give us some information. This is what you get for $50,000. That's about where we're at. And we've just asked ourselves, Nancy and myself, before we go spending $50,000, where are we on the scheme of things? Because when I met with the previous town administrator, I gave her my 10-year plan like I was requested to give her. We looked at it. I had a figure in there. She told me, don't put any figure in because we don't know what it will be. And it's on my thing earmarked for 2027. It's just in my plan because that's where I happen to, to kind of space it out to say, is this a realistic approach? Now, I have no idea if this board or any other board is in the same scope. Then we started talking and finding out, oh, the, the police station's not gonna be paid off for so many years. The senior center's not gonna be paid off. Am I looking at this realistically? And before we go spending this money, and I agree, we have this money, yes, maybe we should take advantage of it, but what do we get? I got a two-page letter from him saying, we're gonna do this, this, and this for $40,000. Well, it doesn't really exactly tell me, you know, am I getting rolled up blueprints and, you know, no. electrical well, and... That, you're not. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like... So, I, I mean, again, I'd, I'd say the same thing. Why don't we not maybe have a meeting next week, definitely have a meeting next week at 6 p.m. before the Board of Selectmen's meeting. This will be on the agenda. I don't know. Then, then we can have the architect that spoke about this here with us that can give us some input. What, if I may, you had two, two things though. You were talking about McMillan giving you stuff, but then there's other 
was the Macmillan stuff and all this stuff you're talking about with the soil testing and the abatement testing, is that one and the same or are those two separate avenues of approach? The samplings would be added on to it. Okay. We've had that we've had that company come in before, prior to the to the last time we were gonna have abatement done. We got involved with Mr. Deluzio and he came and said, Oh, you need to have, you know, this tested and this tested. And I said to him, Well, I've already had it tested by another company three years ago. I'm going with that company because I'm not paying five thousand dollars to tell me that I have material here and here that's and you already did that. But I have and I've done it and then we removed 95% of the windows that had that problem in it. So that's all been abated and now I'm, you know, left with these and I know they're there, but I don't want to go poking a bee's nest if I don't have to, but again, <coughs> I'm just trying to see, well, how much of this can we actually spend in a six month time frame, five month time frame? Yes, I could probably call this other company because it was like 2018 that I got the bid for them to come test the, the materials. How far we go? It was, do we go outside and do ground samplings? Again, we're not even sure like where this structure would get extended to. You know, are we gonna go out to the other driveway? Are we gonna go back with this structure? So where do we do these core samplings? and then not have a result of the right areas that need to be done down the road. Dudley ran into this from what I read in the newspaper. You know, they did all their core samplings and then they ended up dismantling their building or well, they needed to do core samplings under a cement floor and they couldn't do them until the floor was ripped up. They ripped up the floor and then they found that there was oil contamination in the soil. And again, it, you know, it's all these things that they couldn't do anything until they do that. So. We're just trying to put everything in the right order. And again, we have this money sitting here, and I understand the town. Well, we got this grant. Should we spend it? Because if we give it back, how's the state going to look at us with that? Oh, geez, they didn't take it the first time. We're not going to give it to them another time. Well, I mean, we did ask, we did ask for extension on the money. But we were what told I did that. was I asked, could we get an extension? And I was told by... Um, the person at A&F that it would have to be filed by Repo Day. And I spoke to Repo Day and I told him what this was that he would need to follow and he said he would call them and find out about it. Okay, so let how long ago was that? Last Oops. week. Yeah. So can we do a follow up to see if he's okay, done what I will do place? is I will check with Repo Day to see what the answer is on the... Well, I'd, I'd even go one step further. Ask Repo Day where he stands and tell him to file for the extension. I don't we, don't, we don't need to meet to tell him that. Just tell him I to agree. find out what it is and file for the extension. The worst that happens is we still move forward and do something and we don't get it. Right. But at least if we ask. Okay. And get us so, a copy of the letter or the process, something, so we know that. I don't that. think there's much. Well, <laughs> we've got go. no guidance. I'm, I'm on telling you, I, they, I, they sent me a, one of the state contracts, and in it, it says, out of the bill, $150,000 to be used to retrofit a police station for fire department use. If that's what it says, to retrofit a police station for fire. So we can do anything at that building with this money. It wasn't just for architectural drawings. If it's retrofit. No, it's, it's, it's architectural drawings to retrofit. Okay, so it's, it, it says architectural yes, drawings. Yes, and it, and it all goes away the 30th of June. Is it, how, how black and white is that? Is there, is there more language? Do you want me to get it for you? I, I, would, I would like to see what the word's actually saying. Be right back. So, Tom, do you have a, 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 I guess, a wish list or a, hey, maybe a suggestions on, on things that this money, if we have five months to spend it and it's not going to get extended, can you give us, and I'm not asking you to give it to us right now, if we meet in a week, can you give us, hey, here's a list of everything that, we, that I could come up with that we could do with this money that's not a waste of time and money, that, that's not just to spend it because we have it. I think that, to me, that would be helpful. But I, I, think, I think we actually are talking three months, not five. When you go through bid process, multiple bids, getting the lawyers in line, scope of work, time for That's submission. Fine. It has to be spent in five months. So yeah. it, it's going to be spent in five months, but you can't issue a contract for at least a couple, probably. Real description of contract performance or reason for amendment. Right here. Right there. Okay. 
yeah, I, I just feel. Um, it is a contract. Of the, the, Wow, really doesn't say much. To distribute earmarked funding in item 1599-026 of FY19 General Appropriations Act, provided further that not less than 150,000 shall be expended for the architectural plans to retrofit the West Boylston Fire Station, which was previously a police station. These are the items that they're saying that they would be looking at. And so then they broke it down a little bit further. Okay. Ray, can you say that again? Um, right after the 150,000. Uh, provided further that not less than 100, not less, less. not less than 150,000 shall be expended for the architectural plans to retrofit the West Boylston Fire Station, which was previously a police station. Not less than. So that, that means that no, that's no more than 150K. We need 150K. Yeah. I, I think we should reg first reach out also to O'Day and just confirm and see something that yes, we've sent, he has good. sent it, and this is what is the case. Because they may, who knows, maybe they only meet once every quarter or something to determine if it can be carried over or, we don't know the process, and he should be able to give us some information on the process and what we can do to help get this approved to be carried over. So this this contract is for 279. Just looking at it, this, this is contract. This is uh, it's not a, it's uh, from it's Kale and Bannock. Uh, assessment of existing building conditions, spatial needs analysis, site evaluation, preliminary design and renovation addition, implementation plan for renovation addition. None of that to me would be wasting money if we if we did this. No, but it's minimum for straight face mission. Something in there needs to say architectural plans. Well, I'm sure if they would resubmit that to fall into the grant wording, is that what you're concerned about? Well, I mean, it's, it doesn't say much, but what it does say is it's for architectural plans. If 0% of this is but all of this indicating is it, related. that would get to that a next part stage. of architectural plans. Right. And they say the architectural plans will cost a lot. Right. Yeah, what we see and what other people see aren't necessarily the same thing. I, we got I would want to be confident we're not wasting our own money. Is this a reimbursement grant? Or do, or do they give us the money to, when we submit? There's nothing on here that tells what I... I thought you signed it and I thought they sent the money in, but... Here's a check. Mm, checks in the mail. So, I mean, we could get a letter listing all those but make sure that it's worded to fall within the grant because those do lead up to the architectural plans those are the things and if we kept this in. this phase on the thirty thousand dollars we only had to get solicit three bids we, to do that. we can do that in a more right. timely fashion than than right. putting out a right and if we can get it extended well again that's, that's the big question yeah, but we huh. can't even get a an, uh, call back from the the people that run this thing to say, you know, can we? Or if there is, what's well, the process? We'll start the paperwork, but. It, they we'll told push. me what it was, and that's what I told Repo David he needs to file, and he was gonna call, I gave her her phone number, gave him her phone number, so. It's, um, I would say it's not coincidental that that price came in at $27,000. It's not, not coincidental at all. No, so I still think we need to look at the bigger picture. If we get all this stuff now, you're right. Even if we got all this now and this was the next project and we were gonna do it, it's a year and a half down the road. Mm -hmm. I don't care, Even it's 10 years down the road. Right. It, it, this work. But we had, we've had that same stuff on the town hall and we've had all that same stuff on everything else and we really didn't use it down the road. This is an existing building though we're talking about. We're not talking about, well, it could move. It could story. be additions. It could, I, I, I mean. But um, yeah, I, I mean, we could talk all night about it here, but really, let's. I think we should just put it off till the sec, till next week at six o'clock. Post the building committee meeting. But six o'clock, I won't be there. But what are we? Or so we're putting it off. But what's the agenda going to read? 
What are we going to discuss? What are we going to know in a, in a week from now that we don't know now? What? Well, I think the whole board can discuss if the next project we want to move forward with is the fire station. Okay. What we want to do with the fire station, just like we did with all the other buildings. Ray can make 6.30, so I just... To share that, only I just asked only because we want to make sure we've got. Well, I think we need a, a little, little, meeting at yeah. seven. We need a few minutes to talk. We need a few minutes to talk about it. I mean, <laughs> we're not talking about anything. We spent 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I mean, I I'm torn. I agree with you. We we should take it, do what we've done in the past step by step. But we also have this issue. Do, do you think there's any way we're going to get no within the next week? Uh, I can call them every day. I'll reach out to Representative O'Day also and push that way. We, we want to get an answer on this. I'll call him tomorrow. It's, it, it, I mean, obviously, it's going to take more than a meeting because somehow we're going to have to define the scope. What is it exactly that we're asking for? Exactly. And that's not going to be a quick discussion. But can we also have to be mindful that you know, if, if we have a, a few things we want to do and we're keeping each one under 30K? That's, that, that's not right. That's not going to fly. So, if we go that route, then we're relegating ourselves to just using 30K of the available funding. Maybe that's an okay answer. And I don't disagree with Pat that the list that, of the things that were on that list, sure, some of them can be used down the road if, you know, it, it's. it's another, I guess we've talked about it's another study that's going to go up it, on the shelf. Really, if we can get. A, a one-year extension on this, we could do it right. I, th I believe that they said that uh, wasn't the answer that they don't usually give the extensions. Because she said it's a lot of work right. to get an extension. That's why I said last time we yeah. talked about this, then let's ask for it now. It's a lot of work, so that's let make the, well, these I people mean, pay the salary, yeah, do the work. It's, it's the, the work. same. This is the budget. This is in this year's budget. So in order for it to be in next year's budget, it would have to be voted again. Are the, are the monies put aside out of this year's budget no idea to be spent works. next year? I mean, I'm thinking about our budget. We can't do things like that. No. So I think that that's what they're saying. They're saying the same thing in the state. But let's reach out to Repo Day, and I'll reach out to him. Nancy will reach out to him, and then, I mean, I, the only thing I mean, I don't, I don't mind scheduling a meeting another night. I mean. Do we need to have a, instead of doing a, a, a horned in hour fist meeting before the selectman meeting, maybe we should have a, a full blown meeting. meeting dedicated to this and not as a add on. I mean, we're rushed now because we don't want to lose this money. That, that's what it boils down to. You're talking 2027 in your timeline and we're talking six months, let's spend $150,000. Those things are, are incongruous and it's, it, it's unfortunate. That this isn't a here. Put it in your put it in your bank. Use use it when you need it. Now, there's a second grant for a 30k, as I understand it. Correct? No. So it's just 150k grant. Well, this isn't a grant. This is the state this putting is all in the budget. We, budget. This Sorry. is all we got. Was this was all that I've ever heard of? Was Mr. O'Day getting this $150,000 building study fund? And again. The only reason why we found out we got it was we met him at the last town administrator's retirement party and said, how's our grant coming? He goes, you got it. And I said, well, I don't have it. And you were there. I think it was, not to disagree with the chief, but it's exactly, I think it was more like the, the rep said to us, you guys are all set. You got that grant, right? And we go, we did? You know, so it was. And I think you went down to ask Bonnie if we got the money. Yeah, we asked. And no, we never got the I was told we never get the money, right, Chief? I think right. Yeah. So no, and usually how these grants work is you pay, you do the work, you send in the bills, then they, and usually the ones that I get, which are a lot less than this, we have to pay for the for the funding, then we get reimbursed. Well, again, I'd, I'd, I'd say that with a grant, but this is this is a budget. a budget line item. I think this is submit bills to the state. This is different. I don't know. I, I, but that's it. We don't know. So if Nancy can follow up, get the information. Mm -hmm. So good. when do we want to try to meet? The first time we get we get money in a budget like this from the right. gov from the state, we don't know. Well, when we and what we schedule it a week out. If Nancy doesn't have any update, then we can just not meet. Right. That's uh, true. So I, if 
if we don't have some more external information, I don't know how we would move this forward. Well, I think the talk about the, well, that can be at another bu building meeting, but I think the talk about the fire station is a discussion we have to have with or without this budget, this money from the state. I agree. But it's a question of when. We need to have it pretty much immediately if we're going to try to take advantage of this funding. Uh, if, so if, we're, if we opt not to or we decide we can't take advantage of it, then the discussion can be whenever. Well, we, could we have a meeting next week and there will be one topic <coughs> updated if there is updates and if not, then we can talk about the fire station. Does that work? I think we need more, yeah, we need more than half an hour. No, well, I'm saying no. do a separate night. So, like, I mean, we can do Thursday night. I mean. I, I'm not available Thursday. And Pat, we're not available Tuesday, correct? Um, time is that? We haven't posted it yet. Is that you're, you're, you want to meet Tuesday? Yeah, I said to you, yes. So oh. what time would that be? I mean, we could meet, I could meet at 5.30 on Tuesday, and then we okay, could so have a fist meeting afterward. But Tuesday doesn't give Nancy that much time to now. Yeah, that's really, it gives her one day because... I mean, Monday's a holiday. holiday. You're not yeah. going to get any answers. Right. Yeah, so I'm not available Tuesday. Why don't we just Why don't we let see Nancy we get look into answers. it? She can talk. She can talk to John um, when he gets back, and we, we can, can we can post a meeting to, within a couple of days' notice. Okay, and then we'll send out a we'll send out. A but this is obviously we. This is not a. This is something we need to we need to dis discuss and come to a decision very quickly. Like you know six months ago right yeah, I don't think yeah I don't I don't think one week or two weeks is gonna make or break this but if we can get an extension and get it in the works right. then we wouldn't be so rushed and we can go about it in we can go in about it a different way yes. we can put it in an RFP yeah and oh, we, we can, can put it out there and then right. get the bids for this work and get the drawings and, yeah. and probably we everything we, we want again we were in under a time constraint and that's yeah. why they kept it under the 30 to try to keep us that way right. and again we just weren't ready to hire a project manager either to, to take on all this work and that's why I'm kind of stuck here no the project manager also advised us that we should put a project manager on right away <laughs> well Do surprise we? right and it's twenty seven thousand. <laughs> <laughs> And we can't put out an RFP not knowing when this funding that this the funding is going to go away. We we have to have a we can't put an RFP if we don't know what we want, what we're asking them to do. We need to say you can't. Oh. We're asking you to A B C D E F G. Got it. We no, can't no, do I that until the board, until this committee decides, and the okay. chief sits down with us like we did building all the other buildings. Which does, which takes a lot more than six months right. to, to spend the money. Not because we'd like to do it quicker, but there's uh, just no way it can be done. We need to make sure what, you know, we got to talk about what it's going to cost the taxpayers. If this project, and we know some work needs to be done there, and we've told at all of our meetings, we've told that work has to be done there. We have no more detail than that. So we'll just wait, we'll do that. We'll wait for Nancy to look into it, touch base with John, and we'll decide where we go from here. Correct? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So we're not setting up even a tentative date? No. No, I guess um, the other things on it are, any other updates? No. Next meeting, we're not good. Well, our next meeting is scheduled for our normal next meeting. What is it, the second Wednesday? Second Wednesday. Yep. So that's, as of right now, that's what it is. So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn if there's nothing else. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Sorry. It's uh, unofficially the uh, finance committee last week. The, the facilities manager position.